Hello, welcome back to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, we're working on this 11 to 17 Hyundai Ascent. Specifically, we're gonna be changing the window master control switch on the driver's side. Guys, if you are having issues with your electric regs not moving up and down, um, but for example, if the on the passenger side, the left switch works, but on the driver's side, you can't do it with the driver's switch, it's gonna be your master switch. So yes, you can replace it, Swap it in and out, do it yourself, buy it off us. They're $123.30 with free express price anywhere in Australia. Install it yourself, save yourself some money. That's what we're all about here at Parts Factory, guys. If you do appreciate that, give it a thumbs up. And if you can, sub to the channel. Uh, but other than that, guys, I won't stuff you around any further. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, guys, um, here's your master switch. The problem with it is, is you've got to pull the whole door card off to get into it. But the good thing is, is it's actually not too hard to pull these. Um, sorry for waving a knife around these door cards off. It's only two screws. Um, so what you do, you gotta pull this cover off here. So you just use a little knife, like a nice little flat blade knife and you can just pop that cap down like that. And just leave it hanging. Same thing here. You pop in and you can literally just give it a nice pry. And once it's up, then it'll just move out of your way like that. They're little doors, like little fuel doors or whatever you wanna call it. You can pop two little Phillips head screws out one, two pop those little screws on the ground pop this handle forward like so and the cap will pop off like that and run your hand around the outside confirm that there is indeed no screws and then you can just um, use like a flathead again little blade and you can pop in behind the door put your fingers behind the door if you can oh she's never been off before we might try over this side um, there's usually a little port that you can kind of come in and there you go once you've popped one or two, then the rest will hopefully pop a bit easier. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, a lot of force when they're first coming out. But as soon as you've got it, then you can lift it up into the air, come around the back, and then yeah, you can pop this little plug down. And same thing here with this little mirror switch. Pop it off like so. And then as you can see, we're now into the area we need to be to get this switch out. So we'll bring this over here. Alrighty guys, so we've just pulled all this off and we've worked out that this is the other type. There are two types of this switch. It is important that if you are gonna purchase this, this, uh, this switch off us, pull all your door apart and check the color of your base because the plug is different. If the base is black, then it's gonna have this style plug. And if the base is white, then it's gonna have our style. I'm hoping if this is say a year in the future, we're already gonna have both types. So you'll be able to select on our website, bang, 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 which color you need. Get it on the way in your hand. And yeah, of course, use this video to fit it. Um, now, other than that, guys, once you've got all this door card off, it's very straightforward. You've got three, uh, four Phillips heads, one, two, three, four, and that's gonna pop out. And then yeah, you can put the new one in and you're good to go. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Alrighty guys, so as we were saying, yep, you need to make sure you get the right color. Once you've got the correct one in your hand, it's just these four Phillips heads, uh, probably a thinner Phillips head than this big girl. There we go. So as you can imagine, it's super easy from this point on. There's four Phillips heads out. If, a, if you've got a magnet tip, that's even better. You can just take the switch out, move it out of the way, grab your new one, tuck it straight in, and of course, Phillips heads back in, and you're good to go. Obviously, um, I can't put that one in, it's not the correct type, so I'll put all this back in. But as you can imagine, guys, it's the exact same procedure, but in reverse. So you can just put all these Phillips heads back into each hole, doesn't matter which one. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight that you thread the plastic mold, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, you'll be in for a door card. Okay, so once you've got your new switch in your door card, give your door card a clean. It's not every day you're going to be able to get your door card off and in this position um, with access. Okay, then you can just come along, plug your mirror switch in. Uh, just finding where exactly it plugs in. And one and two. Again, just finding how that plug goes in. So at that point, you can now test uh, your switch. So you could fire up your car, test to see if it's all working. And then, of course, 
green go ahead, put it all back together. So you just tuck all of the uh, little trims over the top. It's basically a right hook or like a 90 degree angle and it just tucks over that seal there. So you can just raise it into place. You can. Sometimes it can be a little hard just to get it in here. And I'll just give it a try. Yep, there it goes. You can kind of grab it and push it in. And once it's hanging there like that, you can just tap around the edges. And then obviously once it's lined up nice, you can then grab this trim, uh, spin it around the correct way, obviously. Bringing it in like so. You can use this Phillips head uh, just to tighten it up or just to at least get it started. And for that one, probably best off using the actual tool itself. And then just finishing off nice and tight so that it actually like kind of starts twisting your arm. Bit of a twist there, closing those little doors. And then at this point you can test to see if it works. And of course it does. That's what we're here for guys. Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope everything's gone smoothly for you. Uh, definitely, if you can, like and subscribe to the channel, guys, just so I know that this is the type of stuff you're into. And, of course, this channel is a good one to have in your toolkit if you are doing DI repairs such as this one. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. My name's Lucas. I'll see you later.